Very warm welcome to all of you to tonight's lecture by Ram Chandra Guha. What kind of Asian was Gandhi? There is no one from the Makayas, that is Molana Abul Kalam Mazad Institute for Asian Studies. Ramchandra Guha is the author of the internationally acclaimed India After Gandhi and also the author of several other works such as Makers of Modern India, A Corner of a Foreign Field and Savaging the Civilized. I took a train from <coughs> Madras, as it was then known, to visit Calcutta, as it was then known for the first time. I came after the second day, I left Madras after the second day of a test match. Uh, at the end of the day, at close of play, Sunil Gavaskar was 92 not out. It's easy to understand Tagore and Nehru as Asian. They talk, uh, talked about civilizational collections, philosophical and cultural exchanges, about anti-colonial solidarity. But Gandhi, was Gandhi an Asian in the way in which uh, Nehru and Tagore were? Well, not in the way in which Nehru and Tagore were, but there was an Asian element to Gandhi. Now, in this meeting, there were several odd, uh, resolutions passed by the 3,000 Asians assembled there. The most important resolution was one that bound all those present to court arrest in case the ordinance was not withdrawn. And this resolution was drafted by Gandhi. The laws in the Transvaal, erected by reason of racial antipathies and jealousies, were such that even Chinese ambassadors welcomed in the court of Europe are not welcomed in the Transvaal. It was not possible for us, who belong to an ancient and dignified civilization, to sit silent under such a fragrant insult. 